Nothing reads above you, for I'm so completely yours. To hear folks chatter, and I know you cheat. Right or wrong, don't matter when you're with me. It's going to change the way you look at things. Um, PBK9 is going to give it to you the way I always do. Fair and unbiased. Some going to like it. Some ain't. This is a video that some going to like it. And believe me when I say some people ain't. You know, some people ain't. But the thing is, you know, it's about giving you that real dog talk. You know, that real dog news. See, what we about to listen to, you know, what we about to listen to, a whole lot of brothers, a whole lot of brothers, <clears throat> probably wish we ain't found out about this, probably wish we ain't found out about this, that's why I say this is going to be the video of the decade, this is going to be the video of the decade, you know. Because there's a whole lot of things going to change when you listen. By the time you finish the end of this video, <laughs> you're going to look at a whole lot of things. And you're going to pay attention from this point on. You know, you're going to pay attention from this point on. Now, it's going to be some of y'all in denial. But, I mean, hey, that's expected. That's expected. But one thing I know, you know, one thing I know, two things for sure. Everybody know I'm a yellow man, up and down, right and left, side to side, you know. But we got to give it to you fair and unbiased, raw and uncut. And see, see, the thing is, <clears throat> I had to sit back, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and get, to, get to the roots, you know what I'm saying, holler at my roots. You know, and give my dog people across the world, across the country, from one side of the, you know, from California all the way back to New York, all the way down to Florida, you know, South Carolina, all my South Carolina peeps. Shout out to the whole South Carolina that's doing the right things with these dogs. You know what I'm saying? Not them Carolina Classic boys. I ain't talking about them Carolina Classic boys. They got it all screwed up, you know, all screwed up. You know, shout out to them real bulldoggers from South Carolina and North Carolina. You know, 
Uh, when I say real, I mean brothers who taking care of their dogs, brothers who doing the right things with them, and brothers who ain't in y'all brother's way. You know, how y'all say, like to say, staying out the way, we staying out the way right about now. You know, and we about to listen to the interview that's going to ruffle some feathers. But like I said, at the end of the day, PBK9 is going to give it to you. Fair and unbiased. Raw and uncut. Hit that like button up. Hit that subscribe button up. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button up. I ain't going to start the video up till you subscribe. I got something right now that I can check. Everybody who ain't subscribed is watching this video, and I ain't going to start the video up till they hit subscribe. So go ahead. I, I got much as time as y'all got. I'll roll up another one. Y'all just better subscribe because I got the little thing and I'm watching it. To see who looking at it and ain't subscribed. I'm talking about the ones that always watch it. Not the ones that just watching it tonight. You know, the ones that always watch it and you ain't subscribed, I got you tonight. You won't watch this one. You won't watch this one tonight unless you hit that subscribe button. And it's totally free too. Man, you crazy. I ain't starting the video up. Sorry about that, fellas and my ladies down there. You got to give me a second. They're going to have to hit that subscribe button. All right, man. You know I'm just messing with y'all. Y'all ain't want to subscribe. That's y'all. Y'all ain't going to be in the loop. When I drop them videos, I might be talking about you one of them days. Hey, you better go hit that button now because if I'm talking about you, you better so you can catch that video. <laughs> All right, man. Video of the decade. You know, video of the decade, we got some stuff to talk about. You know, PBK9 is giving it to you firsthand. Firsthand. And I know y'all ready to get into this. I'm ready to give it to you. You know. One thing about us, when we do our interviews, you know, sometimes you just got to listen. First thing a brother want to type in the chat, who's who, who, don't worry about who, nothing. All you got to do is listen. Everything, you don't need to know who tell you every damn thing. You want to know too damn much. Sometimes just sit back and listen. That's why I tell you this is going to be the video of the decade. You know, because PB cannot tell you, sit your ass back. Stop worrying about, oh, who giving me the story? Worrying about how many dogs they got and all other kind of stuff. And that's why you're out here buying these dogs had this brother about to be talking about right about now. You know what I'm saying? Right about now. You know. And like I say, like I told bro in the interview, you're going to hear me say it. I'm going to say it right now at the beginning. I got my brother back. You know what I'm saying? I stand on, I stand with him with the shit that he talking about. You know, we about to get into it. PBK Nines, Dog TV. Let's get it rocking. On the rise now, 
Island celebrations all in my house. Yeah. Levitating now, I'm super duper fly now. Yeah. London boy, but they see where I reside now. Put the time in while you always yelling time out. Yeah. And put it, cause I know I'm coming with it. You were sitting, you were wishing I was handling my business. Yeah. Now I got the ball like Harry Potter playing Quidditch. And my business is so humongous, you would think that happens in there. Yeah. Oh man, I'm all that, yeah, I'm all that. I'm all that. Looking for that whip, yeah, that what you call that. Stats, yo. Woo. Everybody wanna do the same thing. Yup. That's why we ain't on the same page. Yo. Do my own thing and I maintain. Woo. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. I'm going mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. Yeah, I'm going mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. Thank y'all for tuning back into your favorite channel, Pelican Bay K9s, giving it to you the way I always do. Fair enough, bias. Some gonna like it, some ain't. Man, y'all hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to drop down in the comments and salute to all the brothers and sisters down in the chat right now. You know, salute to all the brothers and sisters down in the chat. Salute to all the brothers and sisters from one side of the country to the other side of the country, from one side of the world to the other side of the world. We about to get into that dog talk today. I got a special guest with me today. We about to get into some of that real dog talk. Some we about to talk about some of that uh the, the, that Carolina blood today. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the thing about it, I'm just gonna leave it as my special guest. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to know who you're talking to. You know, um, just know we talking that bulldog talk today. You know what I'm saying? Um, how you doing today, my brother? Hey, what's going on, bro? Ain't too much. Ain't too much. How your day was? Bro, I've been waiting all day for this. <laughs> <laughs> man, look, I've, been in, I've been in the back shadows watching, man, and listening, and you know, part of part of some stipulations from years back. If you know, you know, I'm talking about, uh, you know, I just tried to stay away for a while, and and I just, man, I, I just can't keep quiet no more, man. I feel you on that, man. I feel you on that. Hey, hey, so uh. We can go ahead and get that thing started then. Let me ask you, man, how you got started in the dogs? All right, so originally, I bought my, I got my first dog back home uh, outside of Philadelphia um, off of some of that bully some blood, some of that uh, alley cat kennels, which is uh, old uh, Hall's blood. And I came down here, and to be honest with you, you know, did a little bit of hog hunt, got my ass whipped by some of these good old red boy dogs down here, and um, shit, I, I I I moved down here and met some good people, and 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 you know, got into some 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 good dogs, and I stayed and just developed from there. I hear you on that. I hear you on that. Yeah. So what what lines did you prefer? You know, back back before you got the red boy, start dealing with that. I was running. I was running a lot of the the handicap stuff. I was running um, a little bit of bolio stuff, and um, shit. I I actually came down here um, and linked up with old Pitbull Rick back in the day. Uh, God bless the day, Rick and Nella, and, and uh, Wee Willie from. I don't know if you and you know you from South Carolina. I don't know if you know any yeah. cat, but uh, you know linked up with them and and ran a little bit of some other stuff. Um, I, I was a fan of the blackjack stuff, and and I just ventured out and, and ended up into what I thought was the good yellow stuff. But uh, you know, it was good stuff. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, I, I'm not gonna talk bad about the blood, but it's just the way you, you never knew what you were gonna get, and that was the problem. You know okay. What I mean? And, and, and okay. I, I love the blood to this day. Okay. Now you the, the statement you just made. It helped me ask. It helped me ask the next next question. I, I now, you, now, now you said. Now you said when it comes to that yellow stuff, you never know what you're gonna get. So no, let, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. If you went Carl Cruz way, you knew what you were gonna get. Okay. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't like. I, I'm not gonna say they didn't like Carl Cruz. A lot of people, you know, when Carl and David split, David Tant split. It was 
you know, I, a lot of people think that they disliked each other, and man, they really truly didn't because on the weekends, man, them boys would sit back like good old boys and just crack jokes, play, you know, drink, smoke their cigars, play poker till I mean, god dang, you start on a Friday, be end on a Sunday, but man, they were they were still best of friends when most people thought, you know, David and Carl were against each other after the split, but the the problem with it, it was was the dishonesty after the split. You know, yeah. Carl, I think that's what played a big part in Carl not doing as much as what he was doing. I mean, you know, he did, some people swear to his stuff, you know, the burn stuff and all that. But, uh, you know, it, it's just like I said, it depends which route you went. It depends if David fucked fuck with you, if he didn't or uh, yeah. uh, and, and I hate to say it, but it matter if you were black or white. When you touched on that, listen, I was sitting on the couch, and I didn't even know about none of your stuff. And yeah. I stumbled upon it, and I'm telling you, my girl was even sitting there, and I said, bro, the man just touched on something that I've been battling for years, not saying nothing about. And you, that 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 show you did, I, I watched it and recorded it and, and rewinded it and watched it and rewinded it. And, bro, you know, I, I feel like an asshole for not even saying something before that, but you know, the position that I was in, you know, living there and taking care of his dogs. And, you know, I hate to say it, and, uh, you know, basically, you know, being told what I could and couldn't do. I know yeah. that sounds like, you know, like a bitch thing, but you know how it is. You know what I mean? Oh, you yeah. Know, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you know man. I mean? You were either in with them boys or you weren't. Oh, yeah. You know oh, I mean? yeah. So, you know, it's, it, it, it's crazy, but. That you inspired me to, to say something. That's why I reached out to who I reached out to to get in touch with you, because I know you have a lot of you had you had a lot of questions in there, you know. And I just wanted to touch hey, on those questions. You know what and, I mean? And and, it, and we and speaking on the same thing that we're speaking on now. Like that's what I was saying. Like when it comes to uh, everybody else dealing with him. You know, I, I can't really say, you know, what everybody else got. But, you know, I I feel like if, if it was somebody who was close to him or something, you know, maybe, you know, they, they did get a, a dog off that or something. I don't know. Maybe you could clear it up. All right, check this out. I, I'm, I'm, and, and I hope I don't offend anybody by, by what I'm about to say because this had nothing to do with me, but it's what I've seen. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You give know, us the real, man. Give us the right, real. As, as of everybody knows. Okay. Let me ask you a question. When, do, when 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 is your portrayal? I mean, when 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 is your belief of when Grand Champion Yellow died? You're gonna say you're gonna say ninety four, right? Uh, not, yep, ninety two, ninety four. Okay, you nobody. That, that's the big question. You know, the books say or what is it? September of ninety four, I believe it is. September ninth, yeah. isn't it? Okay, well, let me tell you this. And I'm gonna start by saying this. And I, I hope I hope to God somehow he hears. There was somebody anyway, but listen. So a lot of people think that Yellow was was, was buried over by he, he had his dog down on County Line Road, which is outside of Charleston, okay? Yeah. And there's you know, the, the way his yard was, I don't know if you ever seen it been there, but all his dogs were, you know, in one area with a big, you know, a, a garage a shed type situation, a house out front, a pond, everything like that. Whereas yeah. if you're if you're on the dog yard facing the road, the pond is straight in front of you, there's azaleas and, and rose bushes that are planted to the left that he portrays that that's where Yellow was buried, which is not true. But the true place that he's buried and I know there's only a couple people that know, has the actual mark on it. The dog actually died in April of ninety two. It's not June of ninety I mean it's not September ninety four. I've seen it. I've, dude, I picked weeds around it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know the actual, he did that for reasons of he was so scared that somebody was going to come try to dig the dog up and get, get DNA because, you know, DNA was going so crazy these days where you can scrape a bone and get this. So the man was so scared of that, so he always fed a line of shit. Yeah. He always told Carl where Yellow was buried. But to be honest with you, the dog that's in that actual grave where they think it is, is not, David originally put Yellow there. But is now replaced with with two or three days later was replaced with one of yellow yellow's offspring. So mm. the dog is the dog is in there is not yellow. Yeah, yellow yellow is buried on. I'm not gonna call no names. It is buried on one of his wives' family's property, and you know. Uh, so anyway, um, getting into that, myself. The girl that I've seen at the time, like I said, I'm not going to mention her names, and a certain person 
Um, I, yeah, I, I asked you about a, a, a kennel name earlier before we got on the interview. If you knew a yeah. person. Okay. So all three of us come down here. Well, I was on the yard, and we picked puppies out of the pen. It was supposed yeah. to be off. It was supposed to be off a triple A bred to his sister. Mm. Okay, so we all pick a puppy out the pen. I get my female. They get ma- males. Yeah, there's two males and a female. Well, three, three, four weeks later, we get our papers, and every set of papers is different. Mm. One, of them, one of them's off a of Bob, one of them's off a of AAA, and one of them's off a of Red Devil. But see, what people don't realize is Red Devil's been stolen for years. I ain't going to call any names, like I said, but a certain person in Virginia came down here and stole that dog. I know anybody that knows knows that it was speculation years back that a, that certain person was able to, to get the dog. And David always said, nah, he didn't get it. I still got it. Bullshit. The dogs that he was saying was off of Red Devil was not. They were all, everything was bred off of AAA. The, I, I don't care what. What he told you, or, or not you, but it told you, unless the, a person came down here and per- specifically seen the breeding done, everything was bred to AAA. Hey, and that'll make that'll make sense to why Red Devil Pup is throwing off black colored dogs. Not all black colored dogs. Please tell me how a red, a red red nosed dog is throwing off black colored dogs like that. Yeah. Please tell me that. But AAA, AAA being a brindle dog, black nosed brindle dog. You know, heavy jacko side. You know what I'm saying? The the, the jacko traits. I get mm-hmm. that. But you you're breeding red red nosed dogs to red red nosed dogs, but you're getting black. It's it just yeah. Yeah. Red, De- red devil's been gone. Um, he he bred everything. Uh, Bob, uh, man, listen and 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 and, and listen. I hope I, I wish there's a way you could hear me about how much of a piece of shit he is. But listen. Bob made that man so much money. I don't know. If, have you ever seen any pictures of Bob or anything like that? No. Nope, uh. Uh-uh. Okay. So Bob was a big dog, catchweight dog, and the reason his name was Bob was because David cut his tail off after after the puppy was born to distinguish it from anything else. So his name was Bob for the Bob tail. Yeah. Okay. So Bob got up in age, all right, and Bob was. Something was going on with Bobby. He wasn't shut up or something like that. He was back there raising hell. But, the, I mean, the dog was old. You know what I'm saying? The dog done made the man so much money, blah, blah, blah. Bro, I came back there, and I ain't going to speak on it. But let me just tell you, when I tell you a, a person that does a, 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 a certain thing, like dirty, bro, just just, just, the, just the things that he this man did was just, uh, I mean, would make you not even want to respect him as a dog man. You feel what I'm saying? That, like, yeah. Yeah, and, and I don't want to talk on that on your show. You feel what I'm saying, and, and draw any kind of like public, you know what? You know, I don't want you know say anything out of the way, but um, yeah, everything yellow. I know for a fact. I know where yellow's born. I mean, buried. I mean, that's that's the man that dug him up again. But um, I was with the man. We fell out. Um, we felt we originally fell out over that paper deal for the first time. Um, when myself, the girl, and the the, the person from that was actually showing his dogs, if you get what I'm saying, out of Florida. He was going hard with them. And yeah. He was doing pretty well. But, you know, the things that I've seen, I'm watching. And, and, and when I tell you very – and I, I know you're going to understand this one. There are yeah. some very, very famous people that have come down there. We all know that. You yeah. Know, the speculation with Michael and Marcus. You, you get what I'm saying? All mm-hmm. them people. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this. If you were one of them type of people – and you were and don't don't take this wrong. And you were black. He did what he had to do. But if you were just somebody that was a nobody that called him up, there was two or three local breeders within. Everybody says the SPCA. No, no, no. They mm. was anti SPCA. I will say that he's always been against it. You know what I mean? He, whatever. There were some very local people, one of them being a female. Actually, she passed away. Miss Graves, I'll, I'll say that because she's gone. She passed away of cancer. Miss Annette Graves, have you, you heard of her? No, no. Mm-mm. Okay, she, okay. She, a lot of the dogs that she, he purchased for the sales to people that were of his type. I'm just going to say it like that. Yeah. That's what he did. He would buy whole litters. He would put them in a yard literally right around, the, right behind his yard. Okay, the, the the road right before you get to him, if you're coming from 17, there was another road to cut off. There was another yard right there that a lot of people didn't know about that he always kept puppies 
six month old dogs because you know how he sold his dogs. Puppies were fifteen, a thousand to fifteen hundred. You know, six months yeah. old, he was paying two twenty five. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. he always kept stuff back there. So when people of not his type would want to purchase stuff from him, that's what he would do. Mm. And, and a lot of them were black dogs. People didn't realize that you know you can distinguish a, a good yellow dog just by how the dog's built. Yep. You know what I'm saying? If it's a dead, dead giveaway is is a rib cage. You know what I'm saying? If, if most of the, you know red boy Jocko does it. That rib cage ain't down to his elbows. You get what I'm saying? The, yep. Yep. And and if you look at a lot of dogs that he was selling to people that weren't his type, were shallow winded dogs. They were they were longer. They didn't have the typical yellow ears. I mean, it was just it, it was it, it was just bullshit. And we fell out over the paper deal. We fell out over that. I left him. I left him and I can't say that, I don't say the other person. I left them in Tennessee over some bullshit like that. Wow. <laughs> I, was, I was we we were we were um, watching a hog hunt and I actually heard him use the n word in the middle of it. He okay. So while 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 they were hog hunting. David was famous for yelling things in the middle, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, grab that hog because he's about to do whatever. And the person yeah. was doing it, and you, you get what I'm saying? He was yeah. he didn't win shows technically. Mm-hmm. Well, when he when he was like, you know, uh, uh well grab a hog, you dumb N-word. I just looked at him like, you know, there's two black people in this whole place, and there's a hundred old white men. And I'm not I'm not knocking because you know back in the day that's a lot of what they that's they were good old boys, whatever. I'm not knocking them. But when I started to see that, it started pulling me further away because I'm from up north. We don't I ain't gonna say it ain't up there, but man, we see people for people. Yeah, yeah. And when he started when I started seeing those traits, I started to back off. I started to see the the you know, the main thing is when he makes his guarantee and then you end up seeing these same people. You know, to come by the dog, you see him again in 15, 16 months wanting to know, hey, what the hell is going on? This ain't what it's supposed to be. And I, I always took notice that you might see one or two white guys bring a dog back, but you'd see almost every one of, of uh, you know, not his type people bringing dogs back on the question. And what would he do? He'd give them another puppy. So guess what? They'd raise another 15, 16 months. It wouldn't be what it was. And they'd, he'd give them another one. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, yeah. That that was the, the people were happy because they thought you know hey, but I'm telling you, bro, the, the man, you know, not only you know the, the, the hanging the papers, not only the the racist part, but I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna speak on this personally, okay? Yeah. I, I was there literally the day that shit happened in 2004, okay? Yeah. The, the whole thing that that went down, I was there all the way down to. But it was the scariest day of my life. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 phew. But anyway, so when everything came down, I'm sitting there denying everything. Like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, blah, blah, blah. And, bro, let me tell you, this man had hidden cameras in the smoke detectors in the house of where I was living. He had Damn. Pictures, listen, he had pictures of my mom in her yard. He had, anytime me and my girl had any type of relations, if you get what I'm saying, it was recorded. Anytime I picked up the landline, it was recorded. Um, the bathroom had a camera in it. Anytime that anything was ever done to see the potential was written down to detail of me and such and such, such and such and such and such for such and such amount of time. For Everything was written in detail. Every, every time somebody came and bought a dog from him was logged. When they bought it, what they did, you know what I'm saying? So the man had, the man built a case on himself. You get what I'm saying? And yeah. Anybody else involved with him. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I personally, you know, he violated me personally because I can get to tapping my, t- listen to phone calls to make sure I'm not, you know, d- d- trying to get nothing from him or, you know, anything like that. But when you go to the stand of having hidden cameras in my house, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, it's his house, but, you know, on the dog yard. When you get to stuff like that, that, that's yeah, you know, picture in the gut. You know, you got pictures of my kids. You know what I mean? My, you know, my kids running around playing out in the yard. My mom coming to visit. You got pictures of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, 
Shit, you could have you could have pressed some kind of criminal charges about that, probably. Yeah, but you, you know what? I'm 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 one of those uh, you know, just. Oh yeah, I feel you. you I feel what I'm saying like I don't want no. I will put it to you like this. Now that you say that, I'm, I'm gonna say this. So he actually, um, and the neighbor actually called. He actually slapped the girl that I was with at the time. Uh, left the puppy pen open, and one of the puppies got out and went over to one of the dogs and got grabbed. You know what I'm saying? Didn't, didn't, didn't I mean, it got, you know, got an uh, ear cut or something like that. But he walks up and just slaps her, right? Damn. Damn. Now, David's a big dude, for those who don't know him. David's 6'2", maybe 6'2". Six, six, and at that time, he was, you know, he was upwards of, you know, 260, 270 pounds. You know, he, he he's a big, you know, big dude. But So he slaps her in the driveway. And Damn. the neighbor sees it. Yeah, the neighbor sees it. Neighbor calls the law. The law all comes, and I'm like, oh, you know, freaking out. But anyway, long story short, you know, we didn't even at that point. You know, what I'm saying like, now nah, everything's good. It's an accident. So you know, we didn't. You, you know, but but the personal level shit was what really sealed the deal. Um, I, I I don't hate people. I don't never ever ever say I hate people. But there's one person that I do hate. I hate for you know what he did in the dog world. I hate for what he does. Racially, racially, and I hate what he did to my personal life. But hey, hey you know the, and I mean to cut y'all, I mean to cut y'all, bro. But you know the bad part about it yes, is sir. that so many people hold him on a high pedestal, and they don't, they don't know how he really is as a person. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Now, anybody that's a dog man and has been a dog man for any length of time, why did he even still have credibility after he testified on Fat Bill? That's what I want to know. Well, hey, what about Garner? Same way Garner and everybody else. That's what I'm saying. Now, I don't know what, what area they're from or, or, or who raised them, but uh, you snitch on, you know, uh, excuse me, I ain't going to use that word. I'm, well, yeah, you snitch on Fat Bill, whatever Fat Bill may have done, whatever. And Bill came out, and he didn't even really trip about it. I mean, he made it known, but, bro, he, you know, and, 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 <sighs> There's more to it, and we all know, we all know that Mark, you know, the deal with, you know, some famous football players. I ain't gonna call their names, you know. Yeah, yeah. We all know that that fell down from David, you know. Yeah. And and I I'll put it to you like this, and nothing illegal, but you got to realize the famous people that have bought dogs from him. You know, Julius mm -hmm. Irving, Doctor J bought dogs for his son. You yep. know, you got you got uh, the cowboy, a couple of the Dallas Cowboys. You know that you know not 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 illegal. You know this. Oh I, yeah, oh yeah. I ain't saying nothing like that, but you know all the way down to Roy Jones Jr. All the way down to uh, uh, hell, DMX had a yellow dog. We all know. You know what I'm saying? We yep. all know that. But I've seen these people. I've seen these people make the trip and come down, and 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 and, and David just in there, smile on their face. Pop, very famous public people that me and you know, you know what I'm saying? We we know yeah. the type of people that, that were involved. But smile on their face, and as soon as they leave, like, you know, nah. just, 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 that's mainly, I don't listen, I don't care what he did to me. That's one thing. But what he did to the whole dog world, look, I don't, if you got a yellow dog, not you, for engine, whoever's listening to this, if you got a yellow dog and it came from David, I guarantee God dang to you that it ain't bred right. I don't even think I don't even I don't even feel like yellow should be a registered married dog. Woo! Hey, I hate to say it. I'm hey, I'm glad hey, I'm glad you're giving that dog talk, my brother. I'm glad you're giving that dog talk. Now I'm gonna tell you now, hey, and I want you to speak your mind. Don't I like them yellow dogs, but don't worry about what I like, my brother, because at the end of the day, what you're speaking is the truth. We can exactly. like it. We can like it or we can not like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It is what the it truth, is. The you truth know? is, the truth is, if you got a dog from Carl, 90, I, I, I give it, I give it a 98% because I, 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 I'm, I'm a firm believer that, and I, and I hate to say it like this, but I'm a firm believer that all of them old school dog men at one point in time home papers on the dog. I don't give a damn, you know, you got it, somebody calling wanting a $5,000 dog and you don't have it, but you got something that's bred off his brother. I guarantee you somewhere along the line, somebody said, now, oh yeah, that's off of this dog. Now, because nah. there's a bit of money to them. Oh yeah, now I'm. A, I only. I'm a. I like to run that big John stuff. You know what I'm saying? I see, walk on my kennels. Yeah. Walk on my kennels. I get props too.
You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 I had, I had, I own, do you remember, uh, e and E's Machiavelli, e and E's Snake, you, you remember the, the dogs that, that came from over there? They were um, bred by Carl, but they were off of, it was Red Boy Jocko Jeep. They were e and E's Piranha, e and E's Machiavelli, e and E's okay. Snake. I had, I had the Snake Dog. And okay. The, the, the problem with the Jeep dogs was you either, you get a good one or you get a crazy motherfucker. And the one the one I pick out got to be the one that you don't even know is out there unless you see dirt flying out the hole. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I couldn't keep teeth. The, the, I mean, every tooth in his mouth was gone because he just wouldn't. He ate everything. But um, walk on my kennels, the big giant stuff. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. But then you go the other route. And it's like, and, and see, this is the crazy part. You know, David and Carl was like Tupac and Biggie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You either like Tupac or you like Biggie. You, there was no in between, and that's how they were. And that's yeah. how, they, and listen, that's how they made their money. Because at the end of the day, they're sitting back laughing at all this money they're making, but they created a division. David went his criminal ass, crooked ass, fuck, oh, excuse me, uh, uh, pedophile ass, but, and I do say that for a reason, but I ain't going to touch on that. But he, he went one way. And made his money, and he probably did make a lot more money than Carl. But Carl was a businessman, you know what I'm saying? Carl, you know, I I got some close friends that still run his blood. They run into some bolio blood, and that shit is f- fucking fire. I hate that. I mean, like, oh yeah, um, yeah. The Crossroad Kennels, I give it to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, now you know, it was some speculation. I heard something about that. What you think about that? I heard Toe Jam the, the toe was born. Toe Jam was born after Yellow was di- after Yellow died. That's what that's I heard. What, that's what I'm trying to get at. Okay, so Toe Jam was born, what was it, 94, they're I, saying 95, they're saying he was born? I, I want to say he was born in 94. Okay, Yellow was dead in 92. And and some folks say he was off AAA, but you and know. I was off of AAA. I don't give a damn what hey. you bought from David, it was off AAA. And not, not. not so much. <laughs> he brought the dog to everything. Yep, I can believe it, bro. I, I can mean, believe it. Because you got to think. Okay, now, I ain't going to lie. Travis, he got Travis from back from Crossroads, okay? Travis was a... I bred to Travis three different times. But, and that stuff was ten times better than anything off of AAA. He was inbreeding shit so much that... Bro, let me ask you a question. Do you ever notice that most of the stuff you get from him spins in fucking circles? You got to walk down the changes to get to him? Like, like, like... It, yeah. it, it, it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, why, why are you doing that? You, you, oh well, I'm tightening the blood up. No, what you're doing is you're making a. a fuck, I don't, I'm not trying to buy no stud dog. I'm not trying to buy no brood bitch. You know what I'm saying? If I'm coming yeah. in five thousand dollars, I don't want something that's going to stand on my. Can't see in the daytime. Triple yeah. A and half his sons when he bred Triple A back to his sister, bro, they couldn't even see during the day. Their their pupils were so freaking big from being being inbred that. They, they, they had no vision at night they seemed perfectly fine but during the day bro they were blind as a motherfucking bat and that's because yeah. he, he kept inbreeding 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 and he got away from what he you know okay Fletcher Fletcher Chavis was from nieces Fletcher didn't even give a damn about registering dogs okay he yep. had, none, of, none of that stuff was registered David back in the day when he was hungry David went, David, you know, did the breedings. David taught Fletcher Chavis into doing all the damn, you know, let me just put papers and let me register and let me do this, let me do that, because David was a dog man. David yeah. was doing his damn thing. But guess what? David come across the yellow dog, seeing he can make an ass of more money, breeding the dog, hanging papers, doing all this other shit. So his heart got away from the game, and his heart went to the money. And when his heart went to the money, he became evil. He became... You know what I'm saying? You know how they say that you know money is the root of all evil. Yeah. Well, it fucked him up. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like it got him away from what he once was. Because I, you know, I'm not gonna take it from him. The man was he used to be a monster. You know what I'm saying? Like like literally, you know, if he brought something, he was coming. But then it got to the point where he didn't give a fuck what he was putting out there. He would just put a hundred dogs out there off a of yellow. And that's what made him a. And I ain't gonna say that's what made him a registered merit dog because I'd be wrong. Barracuda, Mayday, love, love the dogs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lucane, all that. Love the stuff. But a lot of the other stuff that he was breeding out there was not official. But yeah. With it saying it was off of yellow, yellow's racking up round points. 
you know what I'm saying, racking up this, racking up that. Yeah, I, I bet he would. You know, the, most of your dogs you get now, they're not bred a, a million times on paper. So if you think, if you had to make uh, your own judgment of today's dogs, is coming down off yellow out of the whole population in the United States, this say the whole population, what percentage would you think is really off yellow? <laughs> You know what I mean? Answer that. But they're going to take the whole Red Bull Jacket thing down. What I think they should do, listen, I, just out of all fairness, what I think they should do, and and, 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 and and I'm sorry for, you know, whoever hears this and gets offended, but I really think that, I really think that Yellow shouldn't even be really recognized as, as, as bred like that anymore. I really think that he needs to be obsolete. I think that they need to pick up from wherever they are now. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, I know we're down, we're years down from there. I mean, it ain't like you're getting nothing right off of yellow anymore. But I will say this. I will say the dogs that came from David that believe they were off of David, I would honestly, truthfully say 70% not off of yellow, 30% off of yellow after the 90, after you hit the 90 mark. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he bred and, and, you know, in the 90, 91 back, I would say everything's off of yellow. But you got to understand, he said yellow died in 94, yellow died in 92. So there's two years of not being off of, of, off of yellow. And that, that two years is some of the main years that he was bred, that that dog was supposedly bred. You mm. know what I'm saying? It, just like he said, oh, I got frozen semen. The motherfucker didn't even have a, a refrigerator with a freezer in the dog yard. And Nancy, his wife, damn sure ain't going to let no dogs for him being her damn kitchen, uh, 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 uh refrigerator or ain't gonna be in no tank no nothing the man did not have nothing off of that dog the dog died in 92 so anything that was born 92 on is supposedly off of yellow i promise you personally guarantee it is not it's, hey man it's, you, know it's, it's, I, you know what you know what i'm gonna hate about this interview because we're gonna we're gonna sit here and talk and you giving first-hand knowledge of, of what's going on and what what happened and you're gonna have some brothers that, it, that don't know so from way on some other part of the United States that's going to act like they know more about that yellow I dog than what you're telling me right now. And what they're going to do is that I'm going to get a lot of hate mail. Hey, yeah, you got to worry about that. You talking about? I promise you, I promise you, any question you want to ask, Dorsey Avenue, is, he's gone now. Is anybody out here that doubts who this motherfucker don't know what he's talking about? Mr. Oh. Kent lives off of Dorsey Avenue. His name it, it, uh, uh his dog guy was off a of, uh, county line road and pretty much revenue. Uh, he drove a minivan to a Harley to a black F-150 Harley edition truck. Uh, he had a shed in his backyard, hedges on the side. Let's see what else. When you're pulling his dog yard house right there, as soon as you go through the gate house on the left, you drive underneath the shed. As soon as it opens up, big building in the back where everything was, you hook around to the left on the power lines. I have the dogs on the right. With puppy pens in the front, you got the pond, you got yeah. So anybody hey. who says he don't know nothing, is look. Hey. Ask me hey. a I got you. Oh yeah, man. It, 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 I, like I always say, bro, it is what it is, man. Hey, it is what it is. Let me ask you this right here, though. Yeah. All right. You, what you think about Triple A? You think he's off who he's supposed to be off of, or what? Yes, I do. I firmly believe he is. Okay. I do. Okay. I, I got firm belief. I, like I said, I Triple A. Um, you know, yellow bird assassin, you triple A red devil. I know for a fact, I'm not gonna say he wasn't used, he wasn't bred. I know for a fact, yeah. Um, I uh, you know, but triple A, I've seen him produce some very, very, very good dogs. Um, I, I believe triple A is who he's off of. If, if anybody's ever seen triple A, um, and and you, have you ever been to the yard by any chance? No, I haven't been to uh, Tant Yard. So, so Triple A, okay. When you when you went to his yard, and this is this is what always distinguish everything. When you went to his yard, you got one dog that was on the corner that literally was on a uh, like a tugboat chain. You get what I'm saying? The old boat, the huge two hundred pound. You know what I'm saying? Chains. Yeah. Um. Okay. So you had him on the corner. All right. Well, if you're sitting there, any time you go to buy dogs, you got to shed that he keeps. Uh, yeah. I don't. I want that in this one. Huh? Um, I'm sorry. If you um, if you anybody ever wanted to buy dogs, when you pull up, he's got a, a dog food shed right there, kind of like the beginning of his yard where he keeps all the dog food and a couple of supplies. Well, right behind there was Triple A. Triple A, you know, stayed there, never left there. Triple A always showed off, even to an old age, even mm. to even till he was producing litters in 2004. He was down to literally 
having one to two puppy litters. You know, he was bred that much. His sperm count was down. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was literally putting out nothing. Well, yeah. But for him to be as old as he was and the shape he was in, bro, that dog was still at the end of his chain. As inbred as he was, as, 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 as cold as he was supposed to be, the dog was always anything he walked up, he's at the end of his chain. He's got his chain stretched. You're talking about a dog, you know, 12 years old, however old he was. And everything that he was producing was, was, was pretty good. But then all of a sudden it pops up and triple A goes from having one to two puppies to having nine and ten. I don't know where that happens at, but, you know, David, hey, he had a lot of money. Maybe he, you know, I, I don't know, but I don't <laughs> see how it happened. You get what I'm saying? How oh, did yeah. you go from having two puppies in one year to having nine every litter? I do. Anyway, uh, time to switch up. Time to yeah. switch up. Oh yeah, Shit. time to switch up. It's all, but the papers stay the same. That's the, that's the thing. The, yep. the breeding switches up. But guess what? Then papers are the same. And and you know what his excuse was when I called him. And this is real talk now. When I approached him about the shit, I said to him, I said, David, how are my papers different? And you know what his response was? What's, what what's the difference? It's triple A bred to his daughter. It's just a, a different daughter. Motherfucker, it's a different daughter, excuse me, but it's a different daughter. But okay, if your daughter is off a triple A and I'm just throwing out names, Lady Sassy Mead, okay? Well, yeah. mine's off a of triple A and his daughter, and and and, and mine's off a of, uh, sassafras, and the girl buys her dog, and she's off a of red, red, whatever. Okay, there's a quarter of that distilling right. You know, your top half's right, and mm-hmm. half of your bottom half's right. But what what can you say about that other quarter? It's not right. So, you know, so what I'm thinking it is, and you're thinking yours is, and she's thinking her what hers is, it ain't right. So you're still not, you know, it's it's dishonest. And 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 you know, you breed that to something else, and now you think you got something, and it's all fucked up. So yellow is everything off of yellow. I'm telling you, I I. I Man, look, I'll put my life on it because I I know. I yeah. know for a fact. You know, at the end, I'm gonna say it like this. Unless you knew him, unless you knew him and unless you fought with him, whatever can you put something up? whatever you whatever you got from him in the two thousands, you can I guarantee you it was wrong. <laughs> I believe you, bro. If I you believe you. From David Tant from the year two thousand to he got hit in two thousand four. I personally, personally guarantee you that none of it was right. None mm-hmm. of it was right. I mean, he 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 even started having black dogs. Like, where is that coming from? You no, remember? that's what I was going to ask you because some of the boys like to say he was using the Zebo stuff. No, wrong. Let me tell you. You 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 want me to tell you? You you. All right, look. Check this out. You want to hear David's comment on the Zebo and Vindicator stuff? Mm-hmm. This is the exact words. David said that it takes a dumb motherfucker to do anything with that Zebo dog because the Zebo dog should have been shot the day it was even looked at because he bit the dog. He said, you know, but you remember reading, have you ever read the story about, you know, Zebo biting the man? Yeah, I heard something about that. Okay, so David, David had some presso canarios on the yard. Let me touch on that one. All right. So, I can't. I don't know. David has some Presso Canaria dogs on the yard, and I think that a lot of people are mistaken for Zebo dogs were coming off of these big ass Presso Canaria dogs because he was trying to put size back to these dogs. He liked the catch weight stuff. His 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 his, his famous thing was David would get a big ass dog. They would they would be in the sun all day long. And then he would hook something from somebody in Maine or Connecticut or Pennsylvania or New York that was a cold weather dog and bring them down here in the mid fucking been the summer and, and want to do something at 11 o'clock in the morning, one o'clock in the afternoon when it's a hundred damn degrees and full yep. of humidity. you get what I'm saying? So he mm-hmm. liked them bigger dogs. That was his advantage. But as far as the Zebo stuff, no. The only other thing that I can honestly say that he ever brought in he he got some Highland dogs. He had a dog uh, off of the, the Cadillac stuff. Um, he had he had about, he had two of those. He had uh, Travis, which came back from uh, Crossroads. Um, 
let's see who what else he had he killed bob um he had atlas atlas was atlas was a huge dog i mean i ain't gonna lie to you it, it was a one of them type where it took two or three people to just take him off the chain a monster um mm. but he was uh god dang oh he came from um texas express okay uh, i don't even know if he's doing shit anymore um but I will tell you this. I don't. I don't remember a Zebo dog there. Um, not one. Um, I know of everything. I took him everywhere he ever had to go to get a dog. Anywhere he had to go, watch a hunt. Um, the, the only other thing I remember him getting was from uh, a dude bear from Florida. Um, outside of Orlando, he bought a. I bought one and he bought one. It was an handicap dog, and but his didn't stay long because his was there about five or six months. And yeah, I brought a turtle buster dog home from Nightmare Kennels. Al, yeah. So it was I brought a turtle buster dog and a handicap dog, and he bought an handicap dog right after a hunt. And he had it like four or five months, and somebody came from somewhere and wanted. I forget what it was. Anyway, he sold the dog. He never did nothing, but nothing with it. But that was the only thing that I've ever seen come in in years. Everything else was just kept off of the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna say bull crap because there was yeah. like, there was some good ones. But at the end, like I said, I promise you. You know, from when you go from yellow and sassy and all that, was it five? What was it four or five? champions out of that litter or mm -hmm. okay so when you go from that because you know you might get one good one maybe two out of a litter but yeah when you go from some good shit like that bro listen i promise you on everything i love everything he was selling was coming back at the end because yeah. he didn't even know what he had he wasn't breeding bulldogs no more he was breeding paperwork and you can't breed paperwork and expect to make it out there against these people that are making these battle cross you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you, you're breeding for that pretty pedigree yep yep but guess, what? but guess what i don't have dogs anymore and and that's when i reached out and told you man i i got what well, i mean look, i hated i hated the game when the shit went down like it did and i didn't own another dog for so long I gotta give props to mr garner i i, I ain't gonna lie to you i i i, I got a, a dog from uh through somebody from Mr. Tom Garner, and I don't usually say too much about other people's dogs, but I'm gonna tell you something. That dog has one of the highest prey drives I've ever seen in my life at 13 months, and I had a, I had I had my little boy, and anytime my little boy went out in the yard and and screamed or yelled or you know, you know, running and playing, the dog would yeah. Up. So I didn't want to take that chance. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, God forbid he get off the chain, or God forbid my little son go up to him and start screaming or hollering. I knew what time it was, not meaning to do it, but you know how they get when they hear that. You know that prey drive, yeah. And so I got rid of him, and I hated it. I sent him up to Greenville. I, uh, uh, I actually think he's, I think he's doing pretty good. Um, uh, I, I, I want to say I know for a fact he is, but um, and that's when I reached out to you. I said, bro, one of these days I want to get another puppy, man. I want to get another female, and because I hated the game for so long, just for people that would, I mean, just because of yellow, like, oh, we're going to let this man get away with every fucking thing under the sun because of yellow. My yeah, well. yellow's been dead. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. how, 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 what, 90, 92, 2002, 12, 20, these been dead, been, half of the dog men alive now, these been dead 30 years. So that shouldn't be an excuse of why David let this let shit slide and slide and slide and slide and slide because of yellow. Mm -hmm. even, they weren't even born when yellow was, you know what I'm saying? When yellow was mm -hmm. alive doing this thing. Yep. So You're right about that. Get away with shit. The man is a racist. The man, you know, and I'm not saying what I think or what I what I, what, what, what other people say. The man is a racist. Yeah. The, the man used the end. You know, it, 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 I, I, if you can see me right now, I got a, a towel in my hand, squeezing it so hard because I just wanted to just pop his freaking head off. But yeah. Hey, he, I'm gonna tell you, he gonna probably hear this. He gonna probably hear this video because David Tan, David Tan, you know who this is. You know who this is. You're a piece of shit. You're a puppy peddler. You're a dog paper hanger and hanger, and you're a racist. You know who this is. That's all I need to say. Yeah, yeah, because I know some of his, some of his friends they be watching the video, so he probably end up here. If, if they're his friends, if they're his friends, listen. 
I understand people are loyal to people for, you know, whatever, whatever. But when you're wrong, you're wrong. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no, there's no doubt about it, bro. When you're wrong, you're wrong. So they can hate. They can be mad. And, you know, the, the bad thing about it is he hears it. He's going to know who it is. I don't give a shit. I feel you, you know, on that, bro. And, and, and I hope I don't offend any of, you know, your people or anything. I'm doing this interview because it's what's right. Hey, you, hey, you, you know I'm a big yellow fan, but you, hey, I love what you're talking about, bro. I love it. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to, uh, you know, for the folk see what the folk got to say about it. Cause, I, hey, I, 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 I like everything you're saying. I believe what you're talking about. Cause I've been heard about the AAA stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it, and that's why I tell brothers about the different yellow dogs and stuff. And it, cause see, brothers will say about how it was so uh, racist in uh, in this area back then. And I know it was. But the thing and the thing I always say is I had a lot of white friends back then, right? Mm -hmm. So that put me in the loop to yeah. get the real yellow dogs. That's why you're getting real yellow dogs. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That put me yeah. in the loop to get the yellow yeah. dogs instead yeah. of, you know. Let me let, let me let me let me just let me clarify one thing. David a racist is a racist, but he was an undercover racist because if it came to money he seemed green. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Oh like, yeah, oh yeah. If, if he knew, okay cuz all right, let's let's let, let, let's 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 look back. When you look back, you don't, and, and no offense, and please, anybody here says, I'm, don't, don't take this wrong, but there wasn't that many black dogmen. I'm not going to say, no, 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 let me tell you about it. I'm not saying there wasn't that many black dogmen, but there wasn't that many black dogmen that were allowed to have the spotlight on them back in those days. Yeah. You get what yeah. I'm saying? They yeah. weren't, they were considered backyard because they weren't welcome to the shows. Yeah, yeah. You know, we all know that you're not getting to the show unless you're invited. No, unless you're a cringe, you know what I'm saying? Unless you're somebody yeah. that's somebody, that's mm -hmm. one thing. But I'm going to yep. tell you something. Let me tell you something. That man, that man talked so much shit on boot camp click. Okay? That man sat there and, and said that every last one of them, you know what I mean, didn't deserve to have dogs, that they weren't nothing but this, that, this, and that. And, and I heard him call them boys the N-word more than anything, not in person. Yeah, not in person, because Lord forbid you, you know. I already know, you know. Yeah, the entourage, you know, you, you, you know. I'm not gonna speak on them because hell, I don't, I don't want no problems with them. But you know, <laughs> you start speaking about people like that, you know, you, you're fucking up. But yeah, you know, yeah, never to to them. But man, listen, boot camp. I don't know if any of them boys are still out there doing the thing. I've been gone for a while because I hated this shit. You know what has been done, but they were for some reason. I don't know what if they ever had some kind of deal with David or what, but but that man hated them boys with a. I mean, oh my god, like, Damn. I mean, yeah, to the point where he'd want to leave where we were if any of them pulled up. Damn. And yeah, I, I know. No offense to them if they hear it, because like I said, I don't want them problems. I don't want that smoke. But um, hey man, know. it's good. It's good to cause see, like 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 you said. It would, it should make you feel a certain kind of way, bro. That that and we and, and folks still holding him to to these standards and these this pedestal and this and that. And then the way you know you know how he really is. So when you know, know how a person really, really treats a person and how a person really is, it'll make you feel a certain kind of way. I, you know, I, we, we've we've slept in the van, the, the little ugly ass white minivan together because we'd be so tired running the up ninety up and down ninety five to. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, David bought his way with everything. He bought his friends. The people yeah. that he, the people that he say, you know, that thinks that 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 they're loyal, that he's loyal to, bro, the man even loyal to himself, okay? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And here's my thing. Okay, in this in this dog world, okay, in this dog world, we all try to stay away from people that the, the, the snit. I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? The snitch on the yeah. The man publicly fucking in court documents told on Fat Bill, but he still got people supporting him. Yeah. That was a patriarch of the dog world. What the fuck you think he's going to do to me or you? We're nobody's to him. He done sent a patriot. You know what I'm saying? There's another to see. There's things that other people that, that people don't know. There's there's two more kennels up here that that God for, I, I love the man like a brother. He he got a bunch of fed time behind some other shit. But yeah, you know, guess when? Guess when it went down after David got yeah. damn damn. So I know for a fact. Let me ask you one more thing, and this is gonna make plenty of sense. And David, I I personally hope you answer this question. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. So anybody that knows anything about that situation, David had more federal charges than he did had state charges. 
Yeah. Money laundering, all that. Anybody knows anything? So let me ask you a question. Where do federal charges go? Where do they go? Maine gets state charges. Anybody knows anything knows the federal charges override state charges. Hey, you know what? You know what? I did hear this now. Uh, you remember when the last thing happened with the shooting? Yeah. You remember when the shooting thing happened? I was there. Okay. Uh, I, um, they were saying something about he thought he had immunity then. But I guess something, it didn't work or something. The immunity Listen, didn't work or something. So I he guess. Thought, he thought he still, I didn't mean to cut you up. He thought he still had immunity back from when he fed it, when the shit went down with Fat Bill. And there yeah. was another case in Washington. I don't know the person's name. I don't want to put it out there. But David started speaking. Okay, so for those who don't know, and I, and I can talk about now because it's over with. That land surveyor was not a land surveyor. Okay. I know 100% fact. I will give him credit on that. That same person just a couple months before broke into the fucking and he didn't do time about it. I'm not snitching on him or nothing like that. He, this, this is facts. Yeah. He broke into a reptile show down there in Charleston. Stole, got caught in there stealing thousands of dollars with snakes and lizards and everything. Well, this is the second time he done been caught on the yard. Now, he was a land surveyor but he wasn't there for a purpose. Look, the power lines ran through David's property. That was the only excuse anybody could use to be reason to be out there because anybody that knows anything about anything knows that if the power lines run through your property, as long as you're on the power lines, you're legal. You know what I'm saying? That you have, you have access to that all the time. So the man actually took the fishing line that was to the sawed-off shotgun that was in the barrel by the puppy pens. There's no power lines by the puppy pens. The puppy pen that he was going to was the third puppy pen from the, the end, the far end. And there's no reason to be over there. There's nothing over there to be surveyed. David's property was probably a half a football field the other way, which he shouldn't have came past. So that David's true right about. You know what I'm saying? I, 100%. When the man, you know, booby trap, but still, Anybody that knows anything, he had homemade silencers, booby traps, and a fucking bear trap. So ATF was there, DEA was there, SLED mm -hmm. was there, and the county was there. So who do you know, or you know, who do you know that's ever had federal D I mean ATF on your property and, and seized homemade yeah. silencers? Yeah. And never seen the day in court. Hey. Now where did they do that at? Because um, <laughs> but if I get caught with, and look, if I got caught with a bullet in my car, I guarantee the feds send me because you know I'm I'm, yes, I'm, I'm going yes, to jail sir. for every for the clip, the gun, and every bullet in it. This mm -hmm. man's got homemade sounds and weapons, bear traps, and just got caught booby trapping his property where somebody got shot. Plus Damn. money laundering, plus racketeering, and guess what? Ain't never seen a day in federal court for none of that. He does six years in the fucking state pen. He beat me home, bro. Some, I mean, somebody somebody paid for it. Oh yeah, he paid them over. I mean that that okay, that's what happens when you have money, but still. I'm I'm not fixing to be even loyal or even friends with somebody that A we all know, I mean the people that know him that know him that you know know he how yeah. he is. Yeah. But, but you done snitch on somebody and send them to federal federal penitentiary, being fat bill, and then you have all these federal charges. I mean, big boy, I ain't talking about no, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of uh, 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 drugs in your car and, you know, okay, well, we're not going to pursue this. You can yeah. talk with a homemade silencer. That's that, I mean, what yeah. the fuck? Hey, that's, hey, that's automatically going to send you off. Man, I'm going, to, man, they're going to send me to Alcatraz, you know what I'm saying? This man, yeah. So anyway, yeah, like I said, there's just, you know, for the people who get mad about me, I'm going to get two shit. You got to look at the facts. You can't you can't say, Oh, I'm David's friend, so I'm not gonna believe that. Look at the facts. Oh yeah. That's all oh yeah. You gotta do. Mm -hmm. You're getting yellow dogs that don't have big floppies. What's yep. that tell you? Yep. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, I used to hate them dogs. I'd give them and that's a I ain't no goddamn bulldog. That's a hound dog. Look at them big ass triangle flappy ears. You know what I'm saying? That ain't no damn hound dog. But you guess what? Yeah, that was some of the best shit you could get. You know what I'm saying? That's that yellow trait. But yep. But now you're buying dogs that got little, little, little teeny tiny pretty ears and no rib cage and you know what I'm saying, real long through the body and no type of muscle structure and. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. So let me ask you this: yeah. Was you was you around when he um did the big head though? When he castrated the big head though? 
I heard that. I heard. I don't want to say too much. I, but I, 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 I was told of the situation. Um, yeah. Remember when I told you me and David has had our outs, right? Yeah. So I don't know if it was in court records or not. So I don't know if I, you know, I don't want to say anything. Well, I mean, I don't think was this the, the the version that you heard was that basically somebody's nut got cut, right? I, well, I heard him and him and um, Burns had a problem about something, and then about he the put the, shit originally. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, and well, then he put the thing on the dog nuts. Okay, well, not only that, but you nobody knows. And I was, just, and it's funny because I was just talking. I was just just touching on this with with my girl, but she don't know nothing about it. And she, you know, she, th- listen, I, oh, I've done seen, I've done seen him, so. Females, dogs, female parts closed. Damn. Dogs that would prolapse, he would push them back up in there, put them in the rape stand, and literally take a needle and fishing line, a fish hook, not no regular needle, fish hook, and sew them closed, and sew them closed, and sew them closed. No medicine, no antibiotics, no nothing. Leave them out there in the yard, and half the time, you know, that if, if, if something's coming in and not going out, you get what I'm saying? It's not going to last long. Putting them in the heat, and yeah, as far as the falling out with Burns, it was supposed to be with the hot dog, Stumpy, whatever, falling out. Old man Burns was right about David. You know what I'm saying? That's what it all boiled down to was everybody that was anybody, just like with Carl choosing to not really fuck with him like that because everybody knew how crooked he was or everybody knew. So I, tr- I truly believe uh, that what supposedly what people say happened. Now, I was told about it. Yeah. I did not physically see that, so I don't want to say, oh, yes, that happened. Yeah. But from the track record that he did, yeah. I, I, from, from very close sources, I don't want to say it happened. But I don't want to physically say it did, because if I didn't put my eyes on it, that ain't fair. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, but, you know, the stuff that he did, it makes sense. Literally. Literally makes sense. I mean he was a monster in all aspects. I, I understand. I understand if your stuff ain't working right for you that, you know, you might have to make some changes and, you know, get get rid of the, you know, that, you know, sell it to somebody else or however you go about, you know, what's not working for you. But the things that this man did just was fucking horrible, bro. Like, yeah. that, there's no dog man in that. And, and 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 I'll touch with if you want to know about that, I'll touch with you off air about that one because it, yeah, the, you know the, I, yeah, that would definitely that would definitely spark bullshit that I know not me, you, or anybody else wants. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But um, but yeah, the falling out with Burns, there was a good reason behind it. Um, you know, uh, old man. I mean, he everybody just got tired of seeing what they were seeing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and you know, because. JR, the, the JR dog, uh, yeah, uh, uh, the supposedly you know the yellow's brother, mm-hmm. uh, that's what Burns ran. You know what I mean? He, he, Burns and Carl Cruz, you know, the, they they went the the JR a lot of the bred into a lot of JR stuff, you know, which was um um yellow's belly mate brother that a lot of people didn't know nothing about unless you were a Burns and Cruz fan, you knew who he was. Yeah. But, um, you had triple. I mean, you had yellow and sassy. You know, STP took sassy, but you had yellow and sassy, and you know, her, you know, David went haywire with it. So that's why a lot of people didn't know about the burns and stuff. But I like the burn stuff. It was a little big, but you know, I bred it into some bolio stuff from Vice Grip Kennels, and shout out to them at that point because man, that that shit was like, oh my god, I had puppies that were freaking. 12, 14 weeks old, they could not be around each other like, at all. Like, like you know, acting like grown dogs. I mean, literally. And, yeah. you know, shit, boy, boy, that warlock, the vice grips warlock and, and, and all that stuff back in, oh, yeah. You know, and I bred that in some burn stuff, the hot dog and the stumpy stuff, and it was really good stuff. But when I bred it into the yellow stuff, it just really, it, I ain't gonna lie to you, it made a, a really dumb dog. And, David's belief was it takes a dumb dog to be a game dog because if the dog was smart, he would realize that he was get you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He'd get himself out of there. And and okay, I believe that, but uh 
did made real dumb dogs for me. Like I, it just didn't work. I I used yellow for what it, the yellow dogs I was getting. I got to the point where I was breeding my own yellow dogs. I would take whatever bitch I wanted and breed to whichever you know yellow dogs I wanted to breed to because I was there. You know I had permission. I ain't you know yeah you know mm-hmm. like that, but. I stayed away from Triple A. I stayed away from the supposed Red Devil. Um, I stayed away. I bred to Bob. Bob, like I said, I hate him for what he did to Bob. Bob was a very good producing dog. And I truly believe that some of the stuff that he was saying was off of Triple A that was really, really good was actually off of Bob because he bred Bob just as much as he would breed Triple A at the end. Mm. And, um, Damn. Yeah. Uh, but by, okay, most of your dogs that were coming at the closer to the end, two thousand one, two thousand two. Your dogs. You still there, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All your big buckskin black, you know, black featured dogs in two thousand one, two, three, air were most likely off of Bob, um, because he was breeding Bob heavy, and that's what that was his trademark bob was about a 52 54 pound dog buck skin black blackish color ears black muzzle and the stuff that he was saying was come off of triple a was the exact remnants of what bob was producing and triple a to produce more of these reverse red brindle looking you know red that's what he was producing but a lot of the big buck skin dogs i'm telling you was off of bob so let me ask you this the toe jam being a toe jam and they like to say he off triple a is it a chance that he could be off bob instead of triple a because i reason why i ask you this is because he never threw any brindle dogs and all his dogs really 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 look like yellow that's what i'm saying uh at the end most of the dogs that were coming looking like the yellow dog was off of bob because everything okay so look. now it now it makes sense now everything's starting to make sense why People were saying yellow died, and, and but and he was supposed to be off a of triple A, but I never seen Toe Jam throw a brindle dog back with the yellow stuff. When you breed it back to the yellow stuff, I never yeah. see them throw a brindle dog. Yeah, and, and, and I always say Toe Jam dogs look heavy, head more heavy yellow than some of the Mayday dogs that I seen come and, on. And that's what Bob represented. That's what Bob looked like. Bob looked like bigger Hollywood. dogs. Yeah, and 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 this is the thing. And then this is another thing for the people to see. Oh, triple A. Okay, well, listen, Brindle is also a dominant color. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. is. Color, Brindle is a dominant color. I yep. don't give a damn what you breed a Brindle dog comes to. You either going to have a black Brindle dog, a red Brindle dog, a fallen Brindle dog, a buck yep. Brindle dog. It's going to have Brindle somewhere in it because it's a dominant trait. So yep. If you're getting them big buckskin dogs, you're not getting it off of triple A because they're breeding triple A to his sister. Okay, when they're breeding Triple A to his sister, which is what he did a lot of, that's putting double brindle in everything. So everything's heavy brindle. Okay, so that's where you're getting all these red brindle dogs from. You're getting all these black brindle dogs. You're getting because it's Triple A. Now your buckskin dogs, you're not gonna have a whole litter of buckskin dogs off of a, off of Triple A. There's just no fucking way possible. You mean to tell me that Triple A bred a whole litter and he's got a whole buckskin litter? Yeah. Not not, not one piece of brindle in it. Yeah, come on, man. These people don't understand the breed of the dog. You know yeah, they, they, they listen to what this man says and they, oh, it's David Tan. No, I'm, I'm gonna believe him. Please do your research. If you're gonna get in the dog, do your research. If you're buying a red boy dog, if, you, if you're going to a yard and you're buying a red boy dog and he's a black, black nose dog, something's wrong. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you yep. see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, so, well, you're buying a triple A dog, but you're getting it, and it's a 50 pound buckskin dog with black features. Where's that coming from? Please, please tell me that. Because I'm not no rocket scientist, but I do read my research enough to know black is dominant. Oh, yeah. Brindle's dominant, definitely. So you're going to have it. Yep. I'm not gonna say every. I'm not gonna say that you might not have one buckskin dog somewhere in there. That's you know what I'm saying because there is. You got you know people got to understand. You got the Jocko dog blood in there. You got this. So it is possible, but not every fucking one of them is not gonna happen. It's just not. And I'm sorry to be cussing like that, but I'm just hey, saying. Do you remember I'm Mike? About that. Do you remember Mike Caton that used to be with Crossroad back in the days? Yeah. Okay. Now when Mike was breeding his dog, that, that toe jam dog, all his other dogs, he never had no brindle dogs. Period. That I seen all his dogs was coming out buckskin. 
And you know what his excuse was? It's the termite blood. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever heard that? I mean, okay, yeah, I, I heard people say that. I heard I some get, folks say that. But, let me ask you a question. I seen I seen more termite dogs have white in them than anything else, especially down here in in the Low Country. You see yeah. these people, these termite dogs. A lot of them got white and this and that, this and that. Man, listen, Mister Mister Crossroad Kennel. That's why he. Now nah, I'm not gonna hate on him. Uh, let me let me stop that because, but. <laughs> that's when people. That's when. That's when ignorance sit in, and I, that's one yeah, thing. I, yeah, I gotta. I gotta. I got. And 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 I'm like this in real life, and not in just dogs and like that. I hate ignorance. Oh yeah. Oh you know yeah. I mean? And when a man can sit there and for years and years and years make excuses for science. Oh well, he's he's not brindle because of this and this and this. No, 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 no. Chromosomes yeah. and genes don't lie. That's what right. makes us who we are, and that makes dogs who they are. You're right about that. You get what I'm saying? You, yep. you, you tell me what you want, but genetics don't lie. Yep. You know what I mean? And and there's another dog, man. Oh, he, he's passed away. Mr. Billy Holden. I don't know, you ever heard of Mr. Billy Holden? He's passed away, though. Out of Lancaster, the name sounds familiar. His name sounds familiar. No offense to this. To people listen. I'm not saying anything out of the way, but he had Joe Chan. He had the Ice Black Dick Dogs. Uh, uh, uh. And ran the George George's side of the Red Boy Dogs, George's two, all that. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, I went, I went up there. I sent him all this money in advance, and I went to buy three dogs, right? And they were supposed to be off of uh, the whole pedigree was supposed to be Red Boy. Okay, I get up there, and all three of my puppies are black, black nosed dogs with black toenails. They didn't have a white toenail on them. And I, asked him, I said, Billy, I said. I think he made a mistake. He said, no, I didn't. This is off of George's too. And God, I want to call the other name of the dog. It was another George's dog. It was George's too. And it was a Bailey dog. It mm. was a uh, Bailey's bingo. And it was bingo peaches. If you look at the house bread, it was bingo peaches, bingo cream, bingo peaches, bingo cream. So pure red boy. But my dog was black with black toenails and a black nose. Why Damn. Was All three of them. Come on, bro. Damn. Hey, you know what I told him? I said, man, keep the money in the dogs. I don't want none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can have that. I'm not taking that home with me. Ain't no way. If I wanted yeah. that, I'd have went and bought that from somebody else. But, you know, and that's just the way things were. And, you know, Gangbuster, Gang Buster, they had a, 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 some dogs bred like that, and they were pretty good. And they, they were close with David at one time, and... David did some foul shit that, you know, he was, you know, uh, uh, picking on other less fortunate people that, you know, to make, to push him out of the way, if you get what I'm saying. And, um, you know, they, they swore by him and, and, and they got rid of all of their shit. I, matter of fact, they gave him, dude had like 12 yellow dogs on the yard. He called somebody to him, come pick them all up. He didn't want them. Gave him the papers, the dogs, everything. So please come get these dogs. So Damn. that's how, yeah, and that's how, that's that's what the the respect that he had was none. The boy, the man was a bully because he had money. Yeah. That's what it was. Hey, and but then, you see how it turned out for him in the end? Yeah, and guess what? Let, let me let me tell you, let me tell you what this dumb man, I don't know, like I said, I don't know people that realize it. This man, this man decides to take the shit to trial. Okay, who does this? Decides to take the shit to trial. So you know what they do. They subpoena everybody involved. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn who you are. You're subpoenaed. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So they subpoenaed him. Yeah, of course, he was on trial. They subpoenaed me. They subpoenaed uh, uh, the man that got shot. Steven, Steven, I forget his last name. Anyway, um, this man... In the middle of trial, they go on break. The man fakes a heart attack, falls down the steps. Now they take him to the hospital because you know, they denied that when he went into trial, they revoked his bond and he was having to go to Greenwood Jail because they they moved they moved they did a change of venue from Charleston to Greenwood. Okay? Yeah. So in the middle of this trial, when he sees he's fucking losing because he's just a he thought money was going to buy his way, but when Henry McMaster was that, that he was uh, oversled then, you know, he's not his governor now, but uh, when Henry McMaster showing up to your trial, you know, you fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Point yeah. Right. Well, you're challenging these people and this man literally on break walks out and falls down the fucking steps. 
They take him to the hospital. The judge goes to the hospital room and they do tests and they do all that. And guess what they came back to determine? The man didn't even have a, 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 a gas or none of that. The man was perfectly healthy and it pissed the judge off. It pissed all of them off because they done stopped it, spent all this money, stopped it. He done, the man done thought he had a heart attack. They go to the fucking judge. <laughs> For the judge to go to the hospital room, you know, he goes to the emergency room, you know what I'm saying? And then they come to yeah. find out your blood pressure is normal and, you know what I'm saying, you're healthier than most people half your age. And, um, yeah, like, that's just the type, he just thought he could buy everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, and yeah. right after that, I'll never forget it, right after that, um, he comes back the next day, he's in his wheelchair. You know what I'm saying? Like, the man perfectly walked in the court the day before, and now he's sitting in there with his arm all wrapped up because he done fell down the steps, and he's in this damn wheelchair, and, and ain't got no support, ain't nobody showed up for him, no family, no sister, no brother, no wife. No matter of fact, I'm the one that called Carl to tell Carl what the fuck happened to him, and he didn't believe me. Carl said, "Ain't no way that man got that much." Yes, he did. Why? Because people were tired of him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You can't yep. treat people like that and do people like that and expect people to to have your back or protect you or do any of that. Right. You're shitting so many people in the end and doing so much crazy things that, I mean, what you? That, hey. You know. Hey, what I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Um, and somebody, I was trying to get an interview with him a while back, but I could never get in touch with him. And then somebody was telling me they can, they can reach him or whatever. But honestly, man, I don't, I don't know if I want to interview him because I don't feel like he's going to be honest. I don't feel like he's going to be him true self and, and, and being him true self, you know, I mean, is he, I, is he known? you know, huh? Is he known though? I mean, like. As, as far, I mean, like, is, 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 is he well known in the, in the dog world? Or, I mean, is he known in the dog world? You talk about uh, David? No, no, no. Who, who you were, oh, oh you yeah. Gonna, you going to interview him? Yeah, he, or the guy, the guy was supposed to be his homeboy or something like that. And then he was like, um, he was going to get him on or something like that, but he ain't never hit me back. You know, he ain't never hit me back. Well, he so, did but the I, right thing. Because if he would have came on, he would have lied. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I don't want to interview him. I don't yeah, even want to interview him. Bro, that's probably his conscience. Mm hmm. If he ain't gonna be 100% honest about everything, I, I don't want to interview him. Listen, I'm gonna be 100% honest because I ain't got nothing to lose. I feel you. I don't bro. even own a dog. Listen, I don't even own a dog right now. I have nothing to gain or lose out of this situation. The only thing that I have to gain is to actually let people know. For those who you who want to believe, please believe. For those of you that think that I'm just an asshole and just hating, I'm not hating. Because if I was hating, I'd have some other type of bloodline dog or something like that. Hell, I'm looking. Anybody out there, I'm looking for a puppy. I just, I just want that. I, I, I want a female. Like I told you, I just want a female that I can raise and use. Let somebody else, you know, use the breed because I love the breed and I love the game. But I'm just, I can't. You know. Oh yeah. I, Hey, everything you saying, man, it coincides to what I've been hearing. Uh, see, I'm from the same area myself. So everything that you're saying, it goes straight to what I've been hearing uh, ever since back in the 90s. Yeah. This dog ain't off this. This dog ain't off this. This, this, and this, and this, and this. Yeah. So, you know, it ain't nothing to argue, it ain't nothing to argue with, with you about. You know what I'm saying? They can't get yeah. mad. They can't get mad if you think this dog is off red devil or you think these dogs off this dog i mean this dog off yellow and this dog off yellow and none of them off yellow well, any, you know, anybody, I mean, anybody that's hearing this and thinks that red devil is anything ask just is ask your old buddy david tan who freddy is you now uh, uh from virginia and 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 ask him what happened with red devil because he told every Freddie claimed and told her the world that he went and took Red Devil, and David denied it. Now he he got the wrong dog. Blah blah blah. No, the motherfucker he got Red Devil. Red Devil was no. Well, Red Devil ain't on this yard no more because Freddie's trying to get him and this and that, this and that. Freddie, you the man. You got him. You had him. I don't know what you did with him. You did the right thing because David shit him out. You know, he was supposed to buy Red Devil and David was supposed to sell him Red Devil and told him this whole big up fucked up story about how Red Devil got stolen and this and that. So Freddie did what he was supposed to do. Freddie came down there and got what he paid for. Yeah. You know what I'm and, and and no hating on Freddie. Freddie, I don't even know if you know what I'm saying. You don't even know dogs no more. I'm not call last name, but you did what you did. You did get the dog. I don't give a fuck what David says. David didn't move that dog because I watched him cry like a little bitch over that. And you know, no and you know, people well, you're just hating on David and this and that. 
when that man invaded my privacy, yes, he became everything that I'm calling him. I feel you on that. You know I feel saying? you on that. You, you watch me and my personal life and what I had going on, sexual life, washing, drying. When you invaded that and that went into court, I, I actually had fucking sled agents and everything watching all that shit. So not only did he watch the shit, everything he had on DVDs and burned on there, they watched for evidence. So not only did he see it, DEA seen it, ATF seen it, SLED seen it, everyone seen it. So yes, David is a piece of shit, and I'm not hating on him just for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to slander him and say that he's a piece of shit because of what he did to me, but I'm going to say the reason I'm doing it is because that's this. it just needs to be known, and everybody else is too scared to do it, and I don't give a damn how much money he's got. I've made it this far in life, so if he doesn't like me, if he wants smoke, if he wants any of that, and I'm not saying nothing violently, so please don't 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 nobody come knocking on my doors you know laying in my bushes or nothing like that i mean i don't want no smoke with a man but but for real he's um he's a piece of shit and 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 i'll i'll go on live five news i don't know if you're in charleston i see eight you know but i'll go on live five news whatever it is done in i'll call him a piece of shit there too but um you know he violated my family life and to me that's not that's not that's not has nothing not to do with the game. What, what, what we got going on, you know, or they had going on with dogs is one thing. But when you step in my family life with my with my mama, my kids, and my personal sexual business, bro. I, I mean, I, yeah, I'm gonna say what I say and make it hate me to the hill. But, that's that's why yeah. you gotta be careful how you treat people, bro. Because yep. way back then when he was doing that, he felt like he had the upper hand. He didn't know 20, 15, 20 years down the, down the line that. Oh, you was gonna have a a, a, a a mouthpiece that was gonna speak to people all across the world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He and didn't know not, you was gonna have a mouthpiece like that to speak to people way I, over here in damn Germany. Talk to people way over here in Ireland. And people I'm way doing, over here. I'm not doing this for any type. Of, let me say this, and David, if you hear this, not because I'm like I said, I agree with you. You gonna hear it? I'm not doing this for any type of revenge, retribution, none of that. I'm doing what's right because it was right. You are a racist. I will say that. If you wanna, if you wanna do another interview later on down the line with both of us on here, somehow, some way, I would, boy, I would love to do that. If you want, David, if you wanna, be, I'll buy you lunch at Waffle House, even though you got more money than me, or Huddle House, or, or I don't know if you're still in Dorsey Road or Dorsey Avenue, but if you are still down there, you know, we got our favorite restaurant down there. We ain't gonna call it, but you know, we can go sit down. You know, hell. Or we can go to Little River and ride, you know, go out on the casino boat we used to go out on every other weekend. I mean, we can do whatever you want to do to, hey, to not, ask yourself. Now y'all on my end, y'all on my end of town. Now you're nah. talking about the Little River casino boat, now. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? You know, hey, I know what I'm talking ain't too about. Far, they ain't too far for me. Yeah, well, hey, listen, we, right get, we, get, listen we can all go shoot the shit on the intercoastal waterways and and, and and drink on them good free drinks and and, and and gamble a little bit and eat them sandwiches coming back in and we can have a good old old-fashioned get-together hey me and you probably me and you probably have fun he probably ain't gonna chill with us up there now, now. Shit, no 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 because number one yeah you, you me neither one of us are on his level so uh, yeah no, oh and 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 i heard he's a, a pastor now i mean i don't know how true it is but i heard he came home and i heard he's you know i'm not, I'm not nobody for being a christian and all like that so please don't hate him I know I can already tell I'm gonna have a bunch of people. Now he don't like Christians. No, I didn't say that. But he, you know, I, from what I heard, he came out being in the church life, and you know, I, I'm all for that. But you know, uh, but he he did anything he could to make parole, including buying a five-two vote. Well, if he really, if he really, if he really made a change to that to that life, then it shouldn't be no problem with him telling how he was living back then. That, that that's part that's part that's part of of being it, who you were or used to be he, yeah should, it, it, it should, should be, be easy for talking. him yep. he should be out should, talking to the yep. young generation mm -hmm. it, it should but, be easy for him to say i was like this i was like this but now i'm like this i i was this is the type of person i was back then or i made these mistakes i did this wrong you know what i'm saying but i i, I felt i felt deep in my heart that i had to make a change or something it should yeah. be easy for him to say it. if he can't get up and mm -hmm. tell the truth then you know it's all that's a bunch of bull you know what i'm saying it, it, it is it is and i hate that um but listen my phone my phone's about to die i had it on a charger but but all this power that's coming into this interview is for real draining my battery i guess it's the truth and the power and behind this whole message it's draining <laughs> my it's draining and i got a i got a nice you know what i'm saying pretty good size phone that usually better usually lasts but i got a charger plugged in and the power is coming out of it but listen <laughs> listen uh 
you got my number though. Um, yes, sir. Yes, anything, sir. Anything, anything, you know, anything you know, you want to discuss, talk about. I'm not, you know, I, I want to. I, I, the only reason I say I want to be not left out because I said what I said, but the only reason I don't want my identity really put out there is because of all the hate that's going to come out of this because you got so many people that are loyal, you know, to, to, to they're going to be loyal to him. And I get that. Uh, well, and actually I don't, but you know, I, I'm not anybody else. I, I can't be loyal to somebody that, you know, there's a certain type of way, but, um, I tell you, you what, know. man, I tell you what, I'm going to end it like this right here. I'm a, I'm a ride or die yellow fan, and everybody who watch my channel, they know it, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to stand behind you with this one, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel I feel everything you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I, half the stories you're talking about, I heard uh, pieces and parts of the stories. But the other half of the story that you filled in, everything makes sense. You know what I'm saying? And I, I never I would never look at it like you 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 uh, um just trying to tear him down or something like this or something like that. Nah, man, you brothers need to know what kind of people they was dealing with or – Especially these young brothers who keeping this brother on a pedestal, keeping this brother high. We need to know what kind of person we was we was dealing with. You know what I'm saying? What kind of person uh, that okay, the, the dog was good, but like you said, half of the people who got yellow dogs, they're not off yellow. You know what I'm saying? Um uh how he was calling the black brothers' names behind their yep. back and all this and that and yep. No, and, and, and 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 it was never in their face or it was never in public it was always especially got like i said you know nightmare kennels i love them you know turtle bus stuff all that stuff down there and it was always after you know what i'm saying getting in a vehicle or or, or this or that it's dumb you know inward or you seen that inward this or that yeah <clears throat> so it was he never had the balls to do it you know to anybody or in front of everybody it was always after nobody was around that's why he was able to keep it in the closet for so damn long but mm -hmm. come on now yep. he was a good old boy mm -hmm. you get what i'm hey. saying yep yeah and you and, and you know how them good old boy and and i'm not profiling nobody because that'd be wrong for me to be saying that but yeah. i'm white and i know that i'm i'm not from the south no, like i said i'm from back home in philly or outside of philly and i ain't gonna say there ain't racism up there because it's everywhere but it's not bred into you know they don't they don't instill this in in the new generation like they do down here yeah yeah you know what i'm saying they still talking about it we trying to get away from it up there you know what i'm saying what's over is done with yeah people, people. but mm -hmm. you know like i said if you were spending money with him he didn't give you a damn black white puerto rican chinese he seen green yeah 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 you know he seen hey. green so hey man i appreciate you giving me the interview man you i appreciate you man this is one of the best interviews i did man um I told, hey then a lot of people don't realize how powerful you know the people hear yellow 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 but nobody realizes the you know the the power that was behind this my whole journey with him and he's gonna say well i've been knowing but this longer this that is no i i call dates times names places so yeah you don't just yeah you can't find that in no sdj you know what i'm saying yeah. you, you ain't finding none of this, the, the shit i'm telling you but you know for those who don't know you know david was and let me ask you a question who, do, yeah. who the hell who's the number one because if you look back, he's listed as number two. So who was number one? They keep going from Frisco to Jeep. Frisco and Jeep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, 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 I'm talking about if he was supposed to be the number two breeder in the world or in the United States. Oh, who oh was uh, number one? Well, they, they were saying Tant was number one until he went to jail. Yeah, and then I read some stuff where he's number two. I'm still trying to figure out who the hell number one was. Cause, cause, God dang it, I done been with the number two guy, and he was a piece of shit. I, I, I want to run with number one guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought I was running with the number one guy, supposedly. Yeah, far as yeah. I know, far as I know, Tent was number one up until That's he went to jail. Thought. That's what I thought. You know, because we was Mexico, fucking, I shit, send the dogs to Taiwan, uh, China, goddamn Europe. I mean, I when I when I just reread an article today where before I talked to you and I and. I said number two, number two dog in the world. Well, who the fuck is number one? Because I, I, I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head about damn somebody done popped out. That I don't even know about, but yeah. So you know, he, he did his thing, and he was like, I'm not gonna take nothing from him. The man did what he did. The man was good at what he did, all the way to scamming people. He was good to the breeding the dogs. He was good to conditioning you know certain things and doing certain things and knowing things he was very very good at it but at the end he was 
very, very good at bullshit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. so, you know, but listen, I, I still love the, the dogs and everything, even though I'm not in it. And keep me in mind, like I said, man, if you know anybody oh, yeah. there, that's got a little puppy or something coming up, I, you know. Hey, when I have something, I'll holler at you, bro. Yeah, do that. Because I, I just, you know what I'm saying? I hold on to her. She ain't going nowhere. I just, I want, I'm. No, no. Oh, God. Now I don't open that up. I'm going to have a bunch of haters and talking shit about me, not bully dogs. I just, that's not me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying they're not pit bulls, but that's just not what I'm into. They're pet bulls. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I want, I want a pit bull, not a pet bull. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, I appreciate you. I appreciate yep. you, man. I appreciate you. Um, I want to say I'm gonna send a salute out to the chat. I appreciate everybody from the chat, man. Y'all hit that like button before y'all get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? PBK9 is giving it to you exclusively, exclusively, man. You know where you heard it at first, you know. Um, like I said, hey, all them yellow pedigrees out there, man. Y'all better look at them and start examining them. And start examining them. I told you, everybody dog ain't off yellow. You know, mm-hmm. everybody dog ain't off yellow, but y'all stay safe out there. Y'all have a good day. Y'all stay legal out there. And just remember, PBK9, some gonna like it, some ain't. I'm out. <laughs>